Hi everyone, I'm Eliza, and today I'm going to be reading Henry and Mudge in the Green Time by Cynthia Ryland and illustrated by Susie Stevenson. Now, I decided to pick this book to read to all of you because I really enjoyed the Henry and Mudge series growing up because I love dogs, so I loved reading a book about a boy and his love for his dog. So. The Picnic in the summer, Henry and his big dog, Mudge, like to go on picnics. There they are. Henry packed the food. He packed jelly sandwiches, pears, and ginger snaps for himself. He packed dry dog food and popcorn for Mudge. They both drank water. Isn't it silly that he's giving his dog popcorn? Do any of your dogs like snacks that aren't dog food <laughs> or dog treats? One Sunday, they went to the park for a picnic. Henry put all the food on a picnic table while Mudge chased some ants under a tree. Look, there he is chasing the ants. Mudge was so big that his tail went whack every time he ran around the tree. Whack, 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 whack. Henry laughed at him. Soon they began eating. Henry chewed his jelly sandwich while he threw pieces of popcorn into Mudge's mouth. Mudge always liked dessert first on picnics. While they were eating, a yellow bee landed on Henry's pear. Henry didn't see the bee. Henry picked up his pear. Oh no. What do you think is going to happen? What is the bee going to do? Ow! Henry cried. Mudge jumped. The bee flew away. Ow, 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 Henry cried. He shook his hand again and again and again, but his hand hurt more and more. It hurt a lot. Tears came to Henry's eyes. His hand hurt so much. It had a puffy white circle on it. There's his hand, his boo-boo. There he is with Mudge. Have you, have any of you ever gotten stung by a bee? I haven't, thankfully, but it seems like it hurts. Henry just had to cry. He sat down beside Mudge and held onto his hurting hand and cried. Mudge sniffed Henry's hair. Mudge sniffed Henry's hand. Mudge put his big nose in Henry's ear. But Henry kept crying. Isn't that nice of Mudge? He cares a lot about Henry. Then Mudge licked Henry's face. Mudge lick liked the taste. It was salty. So Mudge licked Henry's face again and again and again. Every tear that Henry cried, Mudge licked away. So sweet. Henry cried, Mudge licked, and the hand hurt. But in a while, the hand stopped hurting. Henry stopped crying, and Mudge stopped licking. Henry looked at Mudge and smiled. Henry picked up a ginger snap. He took one bite and gave Mudge the rest. Thanks, said Henry. Mudge wagged his tail and waited for another cookie. Look how cute Mudge is. <laughs> so now it's another story, the bath. On hot days, Henry liked to give Mudge a bath. Henry liked it because he could. Play, because he could play with the water hose and 
because he could cool off. Do you guys like playing outside in the summertime or going to the pool or to the beach? I think Mudge would like going to the beach because he likes the water. Mudge hated it. Mudge knew when he was going to get a bath. He would see Henry looking for the dog shampoo. But there he is, looking in his cabinet. Mudge did not seem happy. <laughs> and when he saw Henry hooking up the water hose, he tried to hide under the steps. I think we can still see him though, huh? He's a little too big to hide. But it never worked. <laughs> Henry would take Mudge into the front yard in the sun and he would hose him down. Mudge hated it. His eyes drooped, his ears drooped, and his tail dropped. Mudge doesn't look very happy. When he was all wet, he looked like a big walrus. There he is. That's funny. Henry laughed at him. Then Henry would soap him up. Henry scrubbed his head and his neck and his back and his chest and his stomach and his legs and his tail. He scrubbed a lot of him. <laughs> Mudge really hated this part. He drooped even more. Look, look at the bubbles all on him. <laughs> then Henry hosed Mudge down again. But before Henry could grab a towel, before Henry could get Mudge dry, Mudge always got Henry back. Because when Henry let go... Uh oh. <laughs> what do you think's going to happen? What's going to happen to Henry? Mudge started shaking. He started with his head, and then he shook his neck and his back, and his chest, and his stomach, and his legs, and his tail. Look at him shake. That's a lot of water. <laughs> Mudge shook so hard that when he was done, he was mostly dry and Henry was mostly wet. Thought it was supposed to be a bath for Mudge, but it looks like Henry had a bath too. <laughs> then Mudge looked at Henry and wagged his tail, while Henry dried Henry with the towel. Look, so Henry's so wet now, he basically had a bath. <laughs> Here's the next story, the green time. Beside Henry's house was a big green hill. Late on summer days, Henry and Mudge went to the top of the green hill. There they are on the hill. They looked down. They saw Henry's white house. They saw Henry's blue bike. They saw Henry's wooden swing. There they are looking. On top of the green hill... Henry felt big. He felt like a king. He saw his things below him, and he felt very big. I am king of the green hill, Henry said. He looked at Mudge. You are my dragon. 
Mudge wagged his tail. Your name, Henry said, is Fireball. <laughs> Mudge wagged again. And you are very scary, Henry said. Mudge wagged some more. Do any of you ever pretend to be kings and dragons with your friends or with your pets? <laughs> Henry and Mudge marched all over the top of the green hill. They met other kings who had dragons. They who they met other kings who had dragons. They chased them away. They met monsters. Mudge ate them. They marched and marched until they could march no more. Here they are, marching, and they're exhausted. Look how tired they are. Look. <laughs> Then they found a magic tree on the green hill. It was a tree for kings and dragons who were tired. Who do you think is a tired king and dragon? <laughs> there they are with the tree. Henry and Mudge sat down under the tree. Henry put his arms around Mudge. They were glad for a magic tree. They closed their eyes. And a boy and a dog slept together on the green hill in their green time. And that is the end of Henry and Mudge in the Green Time. I hope you guys really enjoyed the book. I had a fun time reading it to you. And I hope you have a good school year. <laughs> Bye!